Okay, so I was forced to reload because of the um, combat music bug. Okay, I found the golden key. This is perhaps what we've been looking for um, as far as those, um, those locked doors are concerned. Okay. And this will actually bring us back to the entrance, but I want to take a look at this puzzle first. Kind of intriguing for me, okay. No secret doors. So this door is locked. I think that there will be some kind of a relic after after I've managed to unlock this one. Okay. Let's see how it works. Okay. This is about the combination, like so you have to step on those. And they did uh -huh, okay, so this one that resets this thing for sure. So you can get three of them lit. Okay, and there's this oh so this middle one can actually get lit as well. Okay, so this is a bit more complicated than I actually thought it would be. All right. So what does this one do? I don't remember this puzzle at all. Oh, right. It's actually pretty easy if you get this right. Okay. So no, no relics this time, just some random junk. But anyway, we have the key which we've been looking for. We have solved this riddle here. The trick here is actually to light up as many as you can. And mind which one are actually resetting. Nothing too complex, really. Okay. So, yeah, right, we'll go back to the... Um, to the first level now. We'll attempt to recover this orb. I mean, not not actually find this evil ghost. That's the, that's the mission's objective in this case. Okay. Let's take a look at the map. Alright, so somewhere. Right here. Here, I think. Alright, so now we can actually open the door and save the game. There's a teleporter. That's where the things get messy, right? So there's another teleporter here, but I'm gonna explore this area. Okay. I love this teleporter pass. Alright, so the only one which is left is this one now. Okay. I found the chest, which is not what I came for, but it's certainly a nice find. Get some braces, which are not bad. Anyway, okay. Majestic shoots and other trash. Okay, so I'm gonna just throw away some stuff, make space for my gear. When you see so many portals, it's usually a good idea to just hmm. Okay, I think I've actually found the answer here. Yeah. So I'm just the fortress of crowd. I'm gonna just check this teleporter once again. There's a barrel, okay. Pulsing with liquids, so no stat bonuses as of yet. I think this is death. Right one, nope. Okay. This one is, is the right portal, okay. So 
This will take us to the Fortress of Crowds level 2. Where we'll, we'll hopefully be able to just finish the quests right now. Let's take a look around. Okay, some more portals. Jesus Christ. So dark here, despite the fact that I'm using the orb. Some more resistances. So, most important thing here is pretty much not to get um, too much too worried about what's happening because well, you just have to explore and well, go into the portals you haven't been to before. So, once you've actually entered every single portal you can, uh, you'll eventually find. Um, find the exit. So the, these puzzles are kind of all if you if you're easy to if it's easy to confuse you you'll actually have trouble with those. But the trick here is just watch the map to watch the map and enter the portals you haven't entered before. Like I can see for instance there's this portal here which I haven't entered. And this just keeps opening new possibilities for me. So every single time I see a new portal on the map I just enter it. And I hope it's the right one. Okay. And here we go. I think this is the end of this riddle. We're gonna save the game again. Okay, this room looks a bit familiar, but I think it's just. Okay. So as you can see, sometimes when there's a secret on the door, I mean, and there's a secret door actually looks a bit different than anything else. That's how I found this one anyway. So sh some more junk. <clears throat> actually uh, right now I'm hoping that I'll find something useful once I identify all this stuff. Okay so this is the final part of the dungeon pretty much. As you can see there are lots of monsters over there. So I'm going to bath up a bit. This long duration spells are going to be cast anyway. Here are death fingers up. Right now I can actually start dropping the AoE. I wish I could actually push those monsters down. It's kind of a shame that this game does not allow us to do that. So as you can see the blade dancer can actually keep resetting so as long as he can actually finish off some opponents uh, he will keep getting those um, actions refreshed which is really really nice even a bit overpowered if you have more than one of them in the party of course if I do not intend to like use the really OP builds and I'm gonna stick with one blade dance and do just fine. Because if you have like more than one then they can keep resetting each like every single ten you will get at least two resets if you have more than one blade dancer. But it's just enough to have one. Okay. So there's a chest here, probably some more junk. Okay, so this is like exquisite junk really. It's just not even an enchanted item of such a big battle. Okay. Who cares, right? I'm gonna rest. And saving the game might actually be a good idea again. I don't really know why. But the uh, combat music just keeps looping every single time. We yeah, have this blessing with ten destiny, yay. Okay. So this is just outrageous how many of those spectres are here right now. Not all are coming for me, okay. So the trick here is just to stay alive, I think. 
pop all the defensive spells I have. Um, use some kind of scroll, perhaps. Hour of power sounds sounds pretty damn decent. If you ask me. Okay. Wait for them to come over. Next turn I can start hitting them. This means this is the last turn I'm gonna buff. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the arcane ward. I pop the mandate of heaven, and now they come over and I can start fighting. Okay, so in this case, I can't even use tsunami on them because because they're in the air actually, which is kind of unfortunate. But they can be poisoned. I think this cloud works on them. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, this is a bit sad then. I can't really use any of these plants I have. So they're immune to this. I've been wasting this spell all game long. I mean, all the dungeon long, actually. So, yeah. So this means they're probably immune to, to F magic overall. No. Just this spell, okay. Still pretty bad, I'm getting surrounded like heck. So this spell that actually dealt a bit less damage than I wanted it to. I really should start carrying some paralysis immunities to but I think it's the high time I use the spell magic spell skill, whatever. Um I can start focusing down then then down actually. Okay. Not gonna be this easy. Jeez. It's time for regeneration to be popped. It's good that I saved the game because it's going to be a loss. I think I should have backed off much, much, much further away. Like really much, much further away. Like six of them right now around is impossible. Okay, I'm gonna have to save. I'll reload the game actually. So I actually restarted the fight again and I decided to lure the ghosts to to the entrance. I forgot to start recording but yeah. I don't really say much. It's like the, generally speaking it's a good idea not to get swarmed. So once I get here they can't really um engage on me anymore. Like six at at the time anyway. This is impossible to win. Now with two at a time it's like much much easier. So I'm gonna catch two more bolts, but it's not too relevant here. So this is a place where I can fight easily. Membrane. I think I'll pop the hour of power as well because it's a useful thing. Okay, and here I destiny again. I don't think that they're using the water magic, but it's not much of a waste regardless, so why not? I can't use tsunami here because I would push them away and they're just more than content to just DPS me from the range. So instead I'll just fight them in melee. Okay. That's just nasty. This spell magic I have to do is because there goes there go all the buffs. It's really bad that the mage keeps getting paralyzed here. Okay. Those guys are actually seem to be much more difficult to kill than 
and stuff I've fought before. It's just ridiculous how much damage I'm taking. actually killed one of the monsters. Now I can resurrect and try to I get those buffs up at this bit. Membrane actually seems to be a master. This is a that is just very unlucky. I'm gonna pop the regeneration right now. Maybe I can. Nope, I can't kill this one. It should be possible for me to kill it right now because I want this reset, okay? I guess paralysis, but yeah, I think it's a better idea to just keep doing damage for now. I can remove the paralysis with. A water plus three right now. Okay. This means that I can actually kill this one and get the reset and deal some more damage to this as well. Okay, so the reset nope. Okay. This actually means that we're almost done with this fight. I was hoping for the reset, but I didn't get it. So. Okay, my bad, I shouldn't have used this spell. Regardless, so as you can see, this fight is just completely different if you lure them away and try to kill them one after another. Because then they just don't have a chance to surround you and just attack you all at the same time. So this is pretty much the best spot to do this, I think. Oh god. Not now, please just she could be hitting the paralyzed guy. Okay, yeah, this, that's great actually that she died this is more than desirable for me because now I can remove the um, paralysis from my thief. Play dance actually. Okay. So as you can see, this is it for for the combat. Okay, I can open this. So I got some more useless loot from that. There's a trident dagger of perception. Nothing truly useful for my play dance. I think yeah. So and I just try to drop all this stuff. I got a staff here, but I think I have better relic stuff than any random one I can find in this game. It's not a, it's never a harm to just check this whether this is better or worse. Okay, I'm just gonna drop the stuff which I found, okay. And we'll continue exploring this this place. Generally speaking, it's a good idea to keep saving the game because, like those fights, like this, the, oh, some fights you just can't win at the first shot if you don't know what's what's going to happen. This looks like a damn trap, if you ask me. So, like getting resistance to dark magic if you do not have burning determination. Is like a necessity, especially for the mages. Okay, get the blessing. So the, that fight before was actually damn long. I didn't notice that, but it was really, really long. There's some more. There's some more groups of monsters in there. So this dungeon is pretty, pretty huge if compared to anything I've encountered before in this playthrough. So it's gonna be a bit longer episode, I think. Anyway, we're actually getting towards the end of the of the 
of this place, so I hope to be able to just finish this as soon as possible. Okay. I was really hoping this thing would die this time. And so it did, but I hope that does go smooth this. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna have to engage on that. As you can see, Tsunami is like really, really powerful spell. Um, it's worth remembering that one, whenever you actually kill everything that is every single monster that is around you, even if you are if you are in a fight, you can actually move that ten again. That's kind of a nice detail. Okay, so this group is cleaned up, and I can actually try to engage on these ghosts. This place is a bit of a struggle, I have to admit that, but... Yeah, this is what actually makes this thing much more fun. Okay, and this is it for this fight here. There is something in the end. I think this is just a barrel. So. Not the best prize, if you ask me, for the amount of fighting I had to do, but other than that, yes. There's a lot of experience points I'm getting here, which is good, definitely. So this is it. Now I'm gonna just go to this door and try to open it. Okay. And this actually leads us to Fortress of Crowds level 1 again. <coughs> so let's see what we get here. So there is another shrine, which we can use obviously, and the door, and I think this is the, it's going to be the final encounter, very very soon, okay. and this is just lovely to see. Yeah, right, we're gonna leave this one and just load the game and try to do this again. Okay. Okay, or not. Maybe I can just manage this right now. Because as long as my mage keeps dying and gets resurrected over and over again, can actually this actually removes all those debuffs from her so at least try to finish this fight right now. Okay, all not just too many of them. Yeah, nothing I can do. So this time I'm just gonna buff up, like pop everything I have. Yeah. 
refill the mana. So there's just just one square of gap between me and this one, so it's pretty much the best idea to just get here. Okay. I'm gonna do the carnage, I think, because like that, so many. Well, I could have waited with that damage. Uh, do the water flows freely. I think I'm just gonna take some attacks with the barbarian. I don't want the mage to, to get paralyzed prematurely. Okay. okay so tsunami removes those guys pretty much. Let's respect to here. Now I can actually try to hit this one as well, okay. And the specs again, but I have mana now. I don't have the mana now, so. I'm gonna call the mandate of heaven, I think. Okay, it's paralyzed. This is annoying. Yes. I'll try to annoy, okay. And she gets paralyzed, this is just outrageous. This is it for the nasty monsters in this part actually, so I can just wait for her to die. I can resurrect her and then she's gonna be able to just keep casting this first again. Just pretty much what I was after. As you can see this fight here is damn difficult. So it's better idea to just buff up before it begins. No. Okay. So this is it for this one. Okay. I can rest safely. I will save the game again. So as you can see this dungeon, this particular dungeon here is much 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 more difficult than anything you encountered prior to this place. Okay, so this is a huge powerful banshee. This is not what I anticipated. So we're gonna have to load the game actually. <laughs> Making lots of mistakes in this particular badge. I think I haven't really done it before again, or I might have just forgotten it completely. Like I remember some puzzles, but not the um, the layout of the monsters inside. So. It's a better idea to just use all the potions you've got if you can do so. Drop all this stuff anyway. I don't have the fire ward, so there isn't really much I can do against this damage apart from using the membrane. So now those are the shadow bolts. Oh, and this actually removed the liquid membrane. That's nasty. And heroic destiny as well. God, this one's actually actually engage on her. It's not that much. Quite really. Okay. This was nasty. So she does have some really powerful attacks, and those are not like um. Like buffs, so like regular 
effect, so I can't really do much against them. I think I should use this crushing weight. It's not maybe this powerful anymore, but okay, it's not powerful at all. Fine, but I think I got this fight anyway. So I got the relic, necklace relic, and this is it for this dungeon, I think. So I've managed to clear this one completely. Oh, maybe this is this new dungeon which they introduced with the patch. You never know, really. I'm not entirely sure at all. Okay. So the ghosts are united. Blah 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 blah. And we are done with this quest. So I'm gonna show you what I found here, and this will be it for this episode. So there's a useless bow, useless. Okay, air magic. So this is not too useful for us either. This helmet's not too good as well. Junk, destiny. So I might be able to use this one on this guy because why not? Doesn't have any good braces. So got oh so this actually removes okay so you're gonna have to take a look at the loot on this screen okay so this is a crown of destiny actually eight so I might switch it for for the helmet I think it's a good idea even though this one is pretty powerful I think that critical chance at this stage is a good thing nine spirits for the mage. Okay, four levels of water magic win over the spirit, I think. This one here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll actually go for this. Okay, discipline, nope. Slide damage on six. No, okay. Here is the necklace, so I think I'll just try to use it on one of the characters. This guy doesn't have anything particularly useful anyway. Alright, so this will be it for this episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this um, seeing this uh, dungeon completed. Um, I hope that I was actually helped for at least a little bit. So um, please feel free to subscribe, to like the video, to comment below it and to endorse my video thread on the Ubisoft forums. Thank you guys for watching, see you!